Alright, so, so, I just wanted to, um, I know I got the monitor on this shit before you. Anytime I watch the YouTube video now, I'm just gonna react to it. Alright, so, I'm just gonna react to it. The easiest shit to do. Bye, right, it's a video on um, Divine J Rug Rack shit. <laughs> if you don't know shit, go check them out, whatever. Okay. Let me start this recording. Now, nah, it's really about his own. Um, to catch all up on the situation, right? Catch all up on the situation. Divine J and his girl been dating. For like three, four years, something like that. So they kind of locked in. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie to you. So, um, but they not at the same time. I'm not gonna lie. They're kind of toxic, though. I ain't gonna lie. But it's a lot of childish shit on both sides. <laughs> like she childish, but he childish too. Yeah, they real childish. They both be wrong as fuck. They both fucked up. <laughs> I'm gonna feel really. To be honest, they might make it together, I ain't gonna lie, cause they both love each other, I ain't gonna lie, they both in love like a motherfucker. You can tell, so basically she, um, she left. You can tell this nigga was fucked up, but he stayed with it, woo woo. Dealing with this one girl, while she was gone. That girl ended up getting jealous, starting shit with the nigga girl. Then, uh, she took the dog, so he ain't see him. In a minute, it's a lot of bullshit, I ain't gonna lie. And now, um, they finally started linking back up. So, they just sent my guests taking out on the dating shit. I know that he pulled up to our crib like one time, you know what I'm saying? But, or like twice, something like that, once or twice. Um, chill with the dog and they brought us some flowers and shit. I just seen them. <laughs> so, that's just basically me catching you up. <laughs> now, let's get into this video. Um, before we get into today's vlog, I just want to say something to y'all first. And this is coming from my heart. This is coming from his career clean, wasting like hundreds of dollars. A week to get his, his career clean. Nigga, I ain't no way. Like, at least I do. Let's get some money to come over and clean for me, feel me? But me, I wouldn't even do that. I'm gonna clean the fuck out my crib. It might be a rough couple days, shit. But hey, you gotta clean your shit, you feel me? <laughs> that shit crazy. What the best, boss? Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to get to the date. This man is always car right now. Yeah, I see you. See, yeah, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's spending hella bread. Why are you crying, Katie? <laughs> so I'm gonna help you out with that ad, but I'm skipping. So I'm about to meet her at the movies, you feel me? We're gonna watch this movie together, we're gonna go on a little date. We didn't make it to our dinner yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Say so, he did the same shit before. He took her out of, um, out of on vacation multiple times, and then this nigga fucked up. I ain't gonna lie, both of them really fucked up. You feel me? But like she fucked around. Somebody gave somebody STD. It was a lot of bullshit. If you don't know, then go check them out. 
But all I know is he did this shit before. Shit, we gonna see, but I don't feel like I feel like they both toxic. I ain't gonna lie, especially this nigga, cause he. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't know if I should ask her about Hawaii while we at the movies, cause this is a movie day. A movie is like a simple. Classic date, you feel me? Like, this ain't no date. I go asking somebody, like, yo, do you want to go here with me? Like, you know what I'm saying? They got more fancy, so I'm gonna ask her about Hawaii tomorrow. I'm just gonna go out here and have fun with her today. You know what I'm saying? Take her to the movies, buy her some popcorn and shit like that. If she wants some of that, you know what I'm saying? Maybe she give me a kiss at the night, too, because I didn't kiss her in forever. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, you can get us like a, a after movie kiss. You know, we go to movies with your crush and all that, and then after you try to give him a kiss or you try to give him a kiss during a movie. Hopefully we can get us a kiss, you feel me? Ain't gonna worry. But we're driving there right now, we're on our way there. We're gonna meet her there, you know what I'm saying? She's on her way there now, right too. And it's gonna be lit. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. So all the theaters we at, y'all. Bree goes and picks. I let her pick the theater because I thought she was gonna have the Uber. So I was gonna let her choose a spot next to her crib. And guess what? She didn't even have the Uber, so I could have chose the spot next to my crib, right? So she picks the most packed spot of why are you going upwards? She picked the most packed spot of all First of all, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Hey, if I'm taking a girl out on a date for real, for real my ex up, whatever it is, I'm gonna pick her up. So you know she ain't got an Uber. She wouldn't want the Uber to be getting with. I wouldn't want to pick her up. I'm taking, if you my, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna say we got history and then I'm trying to work you out. I trust you, but even if I, if we don't, you know what I'm saying, yeah, of course we can meet up. You know what I'm saying, like, woo woo. But, Obviously, that's gonna start kicking in. You feel me? Like, disrespect though, you feel me? Like, I feel like that's just kind of mandatory, you feel me? If the nigga got a car, ain't no way he shouldn't be picking you up, you feel me? Ain't no way he should be riding the Uber on the date, you feel what I'm saying? If he got a car. So, I don't know shit. My teacher's on. First show. Movie theaters. You feel me? She picked the most packed movie theater. Where there's a hundreds of people at, where everybody and their mama at, where everybody and their mama at. Bro, it's already starting. Like, this shit is crazy, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, that's what this nigga is real childish. Like, you know, because, like, and I'm sorry if we keep stopping it, but I gotta say this shit, I'm breaking this shit down. This nigga real childish, you feel me? You can tell. You know what I'm saying? And, like, First, he's still arguing with her. And I understand, like, say they in each other's face all the time, you feel me, and shit like that. You ain't seen her like that in about almost two months or around two months, whatever it is. Shit, like, and you can tell he's missing about the first week, you feel me? Like, and that's just how it goes. So, of course, you know, she was she had her wrongs too, you feel me? Like, I know she did. And, and I ain't saying that, like, I know the situation, but you feel me? But it's like, every situation different, you feel me? But at the same time, this nigga, he's sitting over there arguing with her, though. You feel me? Like, that's a low-value nigga. You feel what I'm saying? And then the fact that he didn't go pick her up, you feel what I'm saying? That's your ex. And you trying to get back on that. You feel me? So even if the girl, vice versa, the girl is trying to win back the nigga, you feel me? You have to go the extra mile. And not even on no fake shit, but you just got to show a little bit more. You feel me? You can't hide shit. You can't try to tuck it in. You got to show that shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, but, but like I say, we gonna see, you feel me? I'ma let this shit play out. <laughs> but we gonna see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But it's cool. I'm about to just still have fun. She looking good today. She looking nice. Even though she in her comfy clothes. Got a little poke with that. Got a little poke. After this, I ain't gonna really say too much. But come on out. You feel me? Like he already doing sexual jokes for one, two. I'ma say it like this. Why is he so geek? You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna keep it real. I seen some of the shit, but it shouldn't be no geekness coming from him that's like thirst. You feel me? Like, I'm not going, nah, like, you feel me? Like, it's none of that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, especially if she did wrong, which in this case, she was kind of, she was really, you know what I'm saying, wasn't too wrong. You feel me? But at the same time, ain't no telling behind closed doors. And I know that 
you know how she was what I, from what I said she did have her moments by the way she was acting on you feel me so um, like I said I don't know the full story but I did see some wrong from her and I said some wrong from him and from him though too so but I'm gonna say it like this there ain't no way you feel what I'm saying he just he kind of too geek you feel me like and you can tell this nigga miss her you feel me and it's cool to miss that you feel what I'm saying like it's cool you know what I'm saying y'all was together for X amount of time but the fact that you giving in to her, you feel what I'm saying, before she give in to you, you know what I'm saying, like, you supposed to set the tone, you feel what I'm saying, as a man, you supposed to set the tone, you feel what I'm saying, that. let's get into this. But on her. Yo, you excited for the movie? She gonna say no. Yeah, give me a hug or not? Like, Where's the movie theater at? I'd say, you don't even know where we going. Uh, right there, Regal. Where? Regal. Uh, uh, shit. I need a hug real quick. You walking fast. Because our movie is starting. Where you going? You miss me? Yeah. Where your flowers at? Hey, she she missed this nigga though. You can tell. It's just she don't want to be on camera. She she know what happened. Like too much got exposed, so she kind of feel uncomfortable. You feel me? Like cause they been through it so many times. You can tell she over with it. But she loved this nigga. Like you can tell that though too. Guaranteed. 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 Where where right at? You said no. The flowers not in water. I don't know why I wasn't facing you. So she just gonna let my flowers die. I told you, she don't want that camera. Yeah, I always record. I record everything. Even that, even that little, even that little polka dot booty. <laughs> right. Alright, bro. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Look at that. But, uh, what we about to see this movie, y'all. I'll probably watch it tonight. Yeah, I'll probably watch it tonight. Bro, what the ass? This nigga was not playing. He's trying to get his money. <laughs> Google 5. A phone plan for Google. 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 It's easy to switch to 5 from the comfort of your... Come on, man. Record until we get to our seats, because I ain't trying to have them seeing you recording, trying to kick me out and shit. It's like the movie fit out of here. I was literally recording this movie today. This thing is twice. Twice. I want to say what I want to say. Oh, that shit crazy. Okay. Do you really like it? Alright, let's see. Oh, so they left the movie. It was alright. It was alright. We seen we seen a movie called Old. Oh. Let's see how she acted. How they acted. Oh, man, we just left you. Yeah. It was ass. She a little more we comfortable. More comfortable. She opened it, it up already. Right. It was alright. We seen we seen a movie called Old. Oh, yeah, it was alright. Could have done a little bit better. She opened it, it up already. Right. Come here. You can tell. Look at us. Now she. Outside. Yeah, yeah. Hey, she opening up already though. You see that all day. You see that like you see how she more submissive and she more, you know what I'm saying, softer in the way to him. Like, you know, he said, "Come here." She stopped and instantly come. You feel me? Like, you know, just. Little shit like that, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it was e it's easy to get her. She loved this nigga, you could tell. You feel what I'm saying? She loved this nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, this nigga ain't gotta worry about that shit. She loved this nigga, bro. But let's see how he move with it, cause he fucked and fumbled the bag so many times before. Come <laughs> here, the day's over. What? You still gotta have this way, bro. She don't even wanna leave. She wanna she a chill with the nigga though after you can see. I can hear her before we leave. Mm-mm. Ow! You almost hurt my nipple. What's wrong with you? Something you said just almost hurt my nipple. Let me see it. Take it out. Let me see it. No. I'm gonna make sure it's okay. I'm gonna make sure it's okay. That hurt really bad at first. 
so I mean, I see that shit. I ain't even trying to keep doing this shit. I swear to God, I'm not. But this one is just why I want to rewind and watch what she just did, and then watch who in the back when they turn around. Watch this shit. Let me make sure it's okay. Let me see it. Look at this. Look, you see what she's doing, right? Like, you see how she cut. You see how she cut her eye off. Like, you feel me? Like, she was grabbing her shit. You feel me? And then she cut her eye to the side, made eye contact, right? I'm like, oh, I peeped that shit. You feel me? Like, I'm like, let me see what's going on around her while she grabbing her stuff like that. You feel me? But so, this is stupid ass nigga. You <laughs> know? Bro, you can tell this is a low value female, but this a low value ass nigga too though. Look, I ain't even trying to get any, but just watch his reaction. He ain't doing shit, he ain't say shit, he ain't peep shit. <laughs> She's laughing. Okay. Man, look at this nigga. I wanna make sure it's okay. I wanna make sure it's okay. And then she gonna turn around and grab it again. So we finna leave, y'all. Uh, face I'm the nigga, bro. Go to our cars, I'm finna go to my crib. Let me see. I'm looking at it. No, it really got ripped off, and I don't understand what pinched it that hard. Something just pinched the heck out of it. Yeah. She grabbed my shit too. What you doing? Let me suck it. What? Yeah, she, she opened it up. Um, she opened it up. <laughs> Not everything is for the social. You want to do our other date tomorrow? She don't like that. Uh, shot dinner date now. You want to do that tomorrow? What are we doing at the Um, I have a baby shower tomorrow. I can go after. Yeah, dinner. What time is your baby shower? That's at 2. Baby shower is at that Who baby shower is it? Christian. So at the 2, you can go on a date? No, 2 is when it starts. So it's probably under around like 4 or 5. And after that, you can go... Like from miles. Bitches while I was in the Oh shit. Where? Huh? Go where? Go where? I want you to go tomorrow. Go where? Huh? Go where? I'm gonna tell you tomorrow. We're together right That's now. Secret vacation. I want you to go with me. Oh no, we're not about to start these vacations again because we fought on vacation the last time. Oh, it's a secret vacation. We were, we were fighting it's every day fun. in Puerto Rico. You were with other bitches while I was in the hotel room. We're not doing this whole vacation I was stuff. Not yet. Yes, you were. They like the hotel. No. 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 I was not with other people. You know what I'm saying? I talked to a lot. You can't tell social media about that. I was not doing that. You know what I'm saying? You were acting up in every state. I was behaving. I was behaving. You were out there entertaining the whole group of females because COVID, and you were the only guy from miles. So those girls targeted you, and you allowed it. What's going on there? You got cash? Look. This girl, man. Don't oh, tell me they're about to say pictures. Don't tell me they're about to say pictures, my nigga. Your head look like this. 
And she's still out in public with your ass, bro. <laughs> bro, she still came out in public with you, bro. But she ain't even tell the nigga to fix it, though. I don't know if she love him. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, I'm like, damn, yeah, she gotta love the nigga, but hold on. She ain't tell him to fix it. Like, I can see if she told him to fix this shit. You feel me? But, <laughs> Like, bro, this is the definition of naps, boy. Like, it's not even really, like, no, nah, this shit, that shit is fucked up, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, that's me all fucked up, bro. Like, it looks so irritating, bro. Like, especially because it's bald down here, you feel me? And it's just this blob like it's a, it's a perfect blob but just nappy ass matted ass dry as hell you feel me like bro it irritate the fuck out of me let's see man i'm gonna set up the vacation tomorrow and that's the plan you know what i'm saying i'm gonna take her to dinner tomorrow skipping no ads so drawing this bag up and i do some more i'm gonna see if it's something good i'll see y'all next vlog So basically, I'm gonna say it like this this is a prime example of like a low value nigga and a low value female. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I swept down to make sacrifices, you feel me, and, and put myself in predicaments where I might make some type of way, you feel me? Like, for my girl, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I get a girl, like, that's my soul side, you feel me? Like, I'm not super affectionate, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's my soft side is going on, you feel me? So if that's come with like sacrifices, not all the time, but if they come with making sacrifices and doing a little soft shit, then I would. But at the same time, you gotta have respect for yourself as a man, you feel what I'm saying? And even women, y'all gotta have respect for yourself too, you feel me? So that's how you earn respect. But sometimes you gotta go through shit like this to earn it. So with them, bro, they so messy, but at the same time, this nigga, like, you gotta, I understand you miss her though, you feel what I'm saying? Like, they been together for a long time, I ain't gonna lie, they was, they was chilling at the beginning, you feel me? Like, I seen them, it was cool. Uh, shit got a little toxic, everybody got stressed, you feel me? Her and him, you feel me? So, you know, things took a left, you know, turn for the worse. That's when you really start to see who really fucking with you. You feel what I'm saying? When shit get tough. So, this nigga right here, bro, man, he started playing childish too. And then, like, you know, I'm gonna keep it real. I keep thinking about situations where I be in this shit. But I'm gonna keep it real though. Through hard times, like, you feel me? Like, I have my mess ups, but at the same time, you know, I know, you know what I'm saying, what I'm doing. And like, I don't, I wouldn't do no stupid ass shit like that. Like, this nigga, first of all, letting feet, like, come on, man. You feel what I'm saying? He fucked up and she fucked up. So they both got shit to prove. You feel what I'm saying? But he let her, you know what I'm saying, had an upper hand, like, he let her guide and lead the way. That's why he always asking her questions. Like, hey, you trying to do this? You feel what I'm saying? Like, hey, let's go to the, um, can you, can we go uh, on vacation? Um, this and that, like, you know what I'm saying? And that's not what you should be doing. You can't let her lead the way like that. You know what I'm saying? And that's when you start to feel used. You know what I'm saying? It got to be 50-50, you feel what I'm saying? So she going to have to pitch in just how you got to pitch in. Y'all both exes, you feel me? This ain't no first date type shit. She gonna have to do for you just how you do for her, you feel me? Like, to be honest, you ain't even gotta spend. Like, I understand you wanna show her too. Take it, bring it back to the crib. Have a little crib date, you feel me? Make some food, you feel what I'm saying? Like, have a cookout, you feel what I'm saying? They ain't even got no babies together, you feel me? They can have a cookout, they can go, you know what I'm saying? Like, go get a hotel that's local, you feel me? Just have a date night, you feel what I'm saying? Like. Shit like that, you gotta be creative though, you feel me? Not necessarily, I'ma fly out the, uh, let's fly out the states and do this and waste money. Nah, let's keep it local, let's keep it inexpensive, you feel what I'm saying? And that shit just gonna make the bomb more better. She already opening herself though, you feel me? Like she love the nigga Claire's day, but he gotta step up and be a man, or I'm not gonna lie to you, and just be creative and spontaneous, you feel what I'm saying? But yeah, that's it, you feel what I'm saying? It's a long ass video, um, but that's it, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, niggas, 
my niggas out there, man, hey, don't be like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? You break up with your girl, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you either gonna get over her, you feel me, or you just, you gotta stay your ground, you feel what I'm saying? You can go out your way, you can do certain things, depending on the scenarios, you feel what I'm saying? But it's like, come a point in time, especially when you can tell about her demeanor, that's why it's good face to face. Don't don't chase, don't beg, don't do none of that, you feel what I'm saying? So you just gotta let the shit go sometimes and, and keep it pushing, and then you gotta boost your value, you feel what I'm saying? And you gotta, Put more into you, and you feel what I'm saying? And just get back on the track, you feel me? It's called you just gotta bounce back, you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? Um, but for women out there too, you feel me? Because she in that position where she, you know what I'm saying? Well, well, um, you know, they both was wrong, so it's a tough position, so it go both ways. Like, you know, women out there, don't don't leave it all up to the nigga, you feel what I'm saying? It's a two way street, you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? But if the nigga did you wrong, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't loyal shit, whatever. Stand your ground and gain your respect, you feel me? Especially if you love the nigga, you feel me? You gotta gain your respect um, just as well, you feel what I'm saying? So that's all I got, you feel me? I'm about to go ahead and actually really try to go to sleep right now because I keep saying that shit, bro, and I don't really do it. So I'm about to actually try to go to sleep for real, for real. Um, <sighs> yeah, so I can upload these tomorrow because I'm not doing that shit tonight. So, but alright y'all, man, y'all already know what to do, man. Subscribe, ring the bell, you folks know down, do like the reaction shit. Um, um, but then I got story times coming too. You feel what I'm saying? So I record them when I don't know from up. I'm definitely gonna upload it, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it'd be a vibe sometimes. So when I'm watching YouTube, I'm just gonna try to do this, especially if I don't do too much. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna keep posting and keep throwing these videos up. So make sure y'all subscribe, make sure y'all ring the bell, you feel what I'm saying? Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and the ideas and get support, you feel what I'm saying? I need to get my rest more, so I'm on that journey, you feel me? That's what I'm about to try to do is go to bed. But I ain't y'all, man, y'all stay tuned, more coming, you feel what I'm saying? I'm working on a lot of shit, man, more coming. I can't put everything out, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm trying to get there, you feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, make sure y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all already know what time it is. This your boy T Color. You already know that. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, stay tuned, man. Stay fellas. And let's get it.